I'm holding here the very Bible, the very Bible of the apostle of our time, the Reverend Dr. Chris Oyahilome. Greetings to you, my dearest family. Welcome again to Direct TV, bringing to you the truth with Brother Joshua. And right in today's video, guys, you know, uh, I'm here with um, the esteemed Brother this man, you know, I was so, so inspired. I could not stop watching. And, you know, I need to state this just in case you need the full video, okay, because this video will so inspire you. Let me know. You know, we have a, a platform on Telegram where we can pass through or uh, pass a full message. So, if you need the full message, just let me know in the comment section, guys. So, um, in this particular video, oh my goodness, the very Bible of the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris, was given to this man. Pastor Chris gave it to him himself. You got to listen to this story. Now also, <laughs> I could not stop watching the video. Oh my goodness. Ah, wonderful. That's ju just the expression I was just, you know, having when I was watching this video. And I, and I would like you to have the same expression too. All right. So before we dive into the video, if you are new in my channel, hit the subscribe button, like to this video. Watch this. I'll be right back. Actually, before five months, but our work started. officially five months ago so the man of God had said what he wanted to see the cogitations of his heart the things that he was praying about and um, to to feature with all of the things that he had in his spirit, the Lord was, you know, actually showing me visions. So one of the days um, I was with him, you know, always just, you know, I just want, want to sit down to listen to what he has to say. Every time with the man of God is is God talking to you? Oh yes. You know, you know. Sometimes when people get offended, how we describe the man of God. But when you come into the mature things of the spirit, you will understand. So <laughs> I told him the visions, you know, that the spirit of God has been showing to me the things that I've been seeing concerning the things that He said were going to happen. And interestingly, by divine plan, he also had those things, you know. And so we just fellowshiped together, father and son thing. And he prayed and told us what to do. So, soaked in the power of God, we set out, we started, one by one, everything that he said, we were going to see, we saw. If you ever heard nations in a day, yeah, that's, that, that was our commission, that was our commission, nations in a day. Hallelujah. And so, we were sent to do two things. Number one, to arrest the nations. Number two, to create nations. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you understand? So, the nations in a day mandate was given to us. Hallelujah. So we had received the spirit, received the grace to do what the Lord wanted done in our time and we started and oh boy has it been an amazing time hallelujah a remarkable time so today I said uh, I needed to of course some leaders know about it but I needed to now unveil the new addition because it's not just for me and it wasn't just to me. 
it was to us who have been given this mandate by the man of God to take the nations for him the wildfire crew yes sir so for the second part the second part of the things I thought Pakistan was connected so which is this for they are not hearing very well okay they can hear clearly right now okay continue so for the second part of the things that the Lord wanted us to do the Lord wants us to do the things that the man of God has set for us to do first of all everything interestingly everything that the man of God had planned for us to do in two years we achieved in five months Hallelujah. in five months there's nothing like it Hallelujah. everything he wanted us to do in two years we achieved in five months praise the Lord Where have you seen that? Ah. It is grace. So. Now that same grace is available in your individual personal life. Hallelujah. If it's working in your church, if it's working in your fellowship, if it's working in our establishment, it should work in your personal life. It should work in your finances. It should work in everything that has to do with you. Sir. Everything. So that the second part of the things that the man of God wanted us to do. These were big things. First of all, we saw the crowds like never before coming to the churches. It was immediate. We didn't, we didn't have, you know, <laughs> that he wants to see us operating in and like i said this has to do with every part of your life it was so big when i prayed about it it was so big Hallelujah. when i discussed it with him it was so big where do you start where do you begin so let me tell you the plan We're going to have our man of God officially minister to nations. I don't mean like, okay, different people in one country participating, no. That that service is simply for that nation, from the president to the smallest citizen. The whole country becomes a church that day. Glory to God! That's our new goal. That's our new goal. And the Lord has given us grace with the politicians. Yes. He's given us grace with the presidents. Yes, sir. He's given us grace with the governors. Yes, sir. Just mass entry into every way. License to spread. Because until the nations become a church, the constitutions will not follow suit. Yes, sir. We are going to have the man of God vocalize the constitution of nations hallelujah watch and it will happen Woo! it will happen did they did they not think where do you see it that a church the 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 number of people in a church not a conference we've not had any program no since the inception of lgf we've not had what we say is a program all we've had are services where do you see a service in the church? Over 10,000 people in church services. I didn't say 3,000. You have in other places 3,000, 2,000, 1,000. Now, these are not churches that have been for five years. These are five month old churches, some three month old some two months old some one some 
One week. One week. Because he's doing a quick work. Absolutely. Now, our new assignment. Can somebody help out with this? No, no, it's just mm -hmm. your brother. Thank you. So you chuck this in. Good. Now, our new assignment. Yeah, this is it. This is it. And the leaders should take this seriously because the Lord has given us grace for it. We want to have special days for specific countries. And why I'm announcing it to you is not so that we can pray about it. It's in the spirit. It's already done. Hallelujah. This has happened in the spirit. One day where the man of God is ministering to Pakistan, from the president to every, every citizen yes, sir. that day for the Lord. the Lord and he blesses that country watch what prosperity will come you know <laughs> he says believe believe God believe the Lord and you will be established then believe his prophet and you will what Prosper. You prosper. I've just told you. I, I've, I've just told you the cure for recession. Let the man of God minister to you. Let him speak words into your country and see what angels begin to do after that. Yeah. Watch what begins to happen. And so we're going to make this happen. This is our goal. This is what we want to do. The second thing is mass evangelism like never before. Hallelujah. Mass evangelism like never before. The Lord. Now the second part of that is the massive harvest like never before. Hallelujah. I said the day is coming, right? The, during the, the Friday service with the man of God, we had thousands we had thousands of our members in different in different countries in different states in our churches yes, all over yes sir event centers were packed out this was not the whole ministry this was just just us the day is coming where we will use stadiums yes. as centers. Yes, sir. Thank yes. The Lord. Yes. That day is coming. Yes, sir. Yes. Lord. Watch it. Mark today's date down yes, when I told you. Where we would use stadiums Hallelujah. as centers. Hallelujah. I didn't say that we will pack out a stadium and, and, and if we want to have a program, there is no stadium that can take it at this point. Not if we are to all, bring sir. all our members together, there is, there is not one stadium. Huh? I'm saying that we will use stadiums as gathering centers. Oh, hallelujah. And that day, the man of God will minister. Stadiums across the world will be packed out across the world. Hallelujah. This will happen. From where the man of God is, the exact thing happening where he is will be happening in the stadiums across the world. Across the world at the same time. We are going to make this happen. We are going to make this happen. Hallelujah. That's the second part of it. Do you see how how big those things sound? And the Lord is going to do it through us. Hallelujah. Because he's given us the grace. Yes, yes sir. sir. He's given us the grace. This very, what I'm holding here, which camera will be able to <laughs> picture it now? The most 
precious gift. Anybody could ask for. The most, first of all, a Bible is the most precious gift you can give to anybody. But today I'm holding here not just a special gift, but this gift represents another gift that God gave to us in the person of our man of God. I'm holding here the very Bible The very Bible of the apostle of our time. Oh, the Reverend Dr. Chris Oyahilome. DSC, DSC, PD. I am grateful sir and he used this bible over 28 years ago so it still has his name the date and his signature it's got markings in it i've been so blessed you know just Okay, if you want to zoom in so that they <laughs> are they able to see properly? Can they see in? All right, so which camera am I looking at? Okay, at this one. So are you seeing what I'm, I'm holding? It's not just a gift to me. But no... <laughs> I've waited all my life for this. <laughs> all my life. Sometimes I think about it and goosebumps. This was the very same Bible that this man of God that has changed the course of the world. Yes, sir. Sir. Studied in his private time. All the times that he would say he's reading the scriptures and he would jump. The, you know. <laughs> and today. Hallelujah. I'm holding it. Glory. Sir, you've you know I don't know that English can construct properly what you've been to me what you've been to us I mean you guys had the opportunity to sit down with, with the man of God to minister to the world. Thank you so much. Wow. Sir, thank you. Thank you, sir. I am grateful. But beyond this is what it represents. We said four times the impact. Yes, sir. Four Hallelujah. times the impact. Yes, sir. So four times the impact. Four times the speed. Yes, sir. Four times the capacity. Yes, sir. Four times the resources. Yes, sir. Four times the money. Yes, sir. Four times the grace. Yes, sir. 
four times the expansion. Yes, sir. Four times the impact. Four times. So what I've received is what I've come to give you as a church today. It's what I've come to give you as a church today. I want to I want to read something to you very briefly and we will pray. We will pray because I'm going to be praying with you for the things that the Lord hold this for the things that the Lord wants to do with you as a church and you as people so we are going to be praying can you imagine I'm now ministering from the same Bible oh, praise God, praise God. <laughs> oh God oh dear <sighs> this red Bible the legendary red Bible oh, of Pastor Chris Mm. Mm. Lord, the same thing that you showed him as he was studying, you are showing to me Amen. as Amen. I go through it. It's first of all a blessing to my own life. Amen. Amen. I'm reading from John chapter 9. And I'm going to be reading from verse 1. What is the Lord saying to us as a fellowship, as a church, as leaders? What is he saying to us? When I was studying and preparing to come to you, pray with you, I wanted to know what the Lord had in mind for you. What does he want to tell you? What is, what is the catalyst for the next move? The first five months was fire. The next five months What is the significant word for you? What is going to be responsible in partnering with the Spirit of God for four times the impact and four times everything that he said we were going to have? And this is what he said. Tell them the mind of Christ. Tell them the mind of Christ. Tell them the mind of Christ. Of course, you know the scripture. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus, so I'm not going to take you there. I want to take you to an active demonstration of the thoughts of Jesus Christ. Jesus thinking in practicality, an outplay of the mind of Christ. So turn with me to... Now, what's important about this chapter is... Here you find the minds of different people. The minds of the disciples of Jesus play out. The minds of those who heard what had happened. The mind of the person 
it happened to and then the mind of the one that made it happen so the mind of the witnesses the mind of the person who got the testimony the mind of the one who made the testimony happen mm -hmm. the mind of the observers and something striking about this chapter about this book in revealing all of these things showed why they either had the kind of results they had or didn't have the kind of results they didn't have so let's read john chapter 9 verse 1 and as jesus passed by he saw a man which was blind from his birth and his disciples asked him saying master who did sin this man or his parents that he was born blind you see now the disciples are asking because they thought it had to be something this man did that this man was responsible for what had happened to him either him or somebody in his family that is the religious mind the mind of one who does not know God the Bible says that God made everything and made everything perfect how can he mold a child and then give blindness to the child they did not know God the thoughts of a person who does not know God in action you see because they were still early they yet did not know who God was like Jesus Christ at this time was still expressing God playing God out to the world so there was a lot they still did not know at the time so they were asking who sinned Jesus answered neither hath this man sinned nor his parents oh I, I love this and and look at it here the man of God you know <laughs> he colored this part he 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 made a highlight here <sighs> thank you so much sir one of the beautiful things is I know what to put emphasis on mm -hmm. by his markings he says Jesus answered neither had this man sinned nor his parents but that the works of God should be made manifest in him that means don't 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 look at don't look at his sin it has nothing to do with him don't look at the the sin of the parents it's not them God wouldn't do this because of something the man did or because of something his parents did but when you look at this situation see an opportunity to manifest God to it oh. That's the mind of Christ. That's what Jesus wants you to see. He said the works, look at it, that the works of God, that means God has work. Can you imagine? Imagine saying that God's job be done in this man. The opportunity. This was the thinking of Jesus Christ. Then he said, after talking about the work of God, then he said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. What? So Jesus was all about God's work. 
That means healing is God's work. Yes, sir. The sickness was not God's work. Yes, sir. The curse was not God's work. Yes, sir. Are you expressing God's work to your world? That is what we have been sent to do. Now, look at Jesus thinking here. Jesus saw, number one, an opportunity. Number two, like a man who was really giving a mission. He was conscious of time. Do you, do you understand? Yes, sir. Jesus was conscious of the time. He said, while it is day. Now, you're going to have two problems. In doing the massive evangelism that we are to do in ministry number one if you don't know the work number two if you are not actively looking for opportunities number three if you don't understand the times did you hear what i said yes sir if you don't know the work there's a problem if you are not actively looking for opportunities to implement the work, there's a challenge. And, I said what? If, if you don't understand the times. If you don't understand the times, there's a situation. And so, you have people who don't understand one of the three, or even all three. They don't know and there's a language of such people let's read further jesus was conscious of the time he says i must watch the works of him that sent me while it is day the night cometh when no man can work at this time the problem will not be that you don't know the work the problem will not be that there is no opportunity to work. The issue will be the time that you cannot work. So there is a time appointed to a man's work. That's the reason why when I made this statement, people didn't, uh, some people didn't understand. I said, I have one one purpose only with two expressions one purpose only in my whole life if you if you are to open my life in and out i have one purpose only with two expressions number one the general purpose that the lord gave to us the ministry of reconciliation that all men be saved that's number one number two I said to you privately to the leaders but I'm saying to you now as a congregation here's my purpose what my whole life is about the aggressive expansion of a divine and heavenly empire that's what it is the aggressive expansion of a divine and heavenly empire that's my purpose all right my dearest family there you have it with brother Daysman Oyakilume oh my goodness there's nobody that will tell me you weren't blessed by this message you can't tell me that you can't tell me that you know I did say something in the beginning of the video I said um if you want to watch the full video okay just indicate okay you can just say um I need the full video or I I'll, I'll know all right and then i'll direct you to our telegram platform where i can post you know the full video there okay we have a telegram platform and a lot of people got my previous message where i posted about um pastor Biodon lawa all right that plane crash issue so um for those of you who still need the full message to this one you kindly let me know too or you indicate in the group chat in our telegram how you know send the full video here but this was during before um the program they had for the global fellowship okay 
um, love or global fellowship this is a global um, you know i mean that particular day when they had the program you know this was before the program but the day they had the program they packed out everywhere you know the, the pictures was just everywhere all right and you can see some of it like i'm showing you here so it was so amazing they actually did what they, they said oh my goodness so i'd love to see my next video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe guys see my next video bye